What's good, opensource.com? Justin Flory here again for this week's top five for the week of April 14th. This week we had some great content and one new first time writer for opensource.com. For this week's top five, we'll be putting Linux on a Chromebook, building your own DNS name servers, creating a voice over IP solution on a Raspberry Pi, comparing Python and Ruby for web development, and the top five programming languages for DevOps. Coming into the number five slot, the top five programming languages for DevOps. The rise of DevOps has been swift, and the need for a technologist crawling under tiles to plug in cables is no longer critical. A programmatic approach for a continuous integration-based pipeline is where focus is shifting now. To help you get started, check out this week's roundup of the top five programming languages for DevOps and how you can get started learning them now. Coming into the number four slot, Python versus Ruby, which is best for web development? In a world of web development, Python and Ruby are two top contenders for preferred languages. While they do have a lot in common, they differ in their approach and core philosophies. This article puts a light onto Python and Ruby to help you decide what language could suit your needs best. Coming in at number three, install Asterisk on a Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pis can do all sorts of cool tricks, but what about a home or office phone solution? Yep. This article gives a flyby introduction to Asterisk on the Raspberry Pi, a way you can build a scalable voice over IP solution for your home, office, or just for fun. Coming in at number two, Build your own DNS name server on Linux. Continuing where we left off with the introduction to the DNS system article, we go on to the next level by building a DNS name server on your own. Learn how to make your own DNS web server using bind in two stages. And finally, coming in at the number one spot, running Linux on your Chromebook with Gallium OS. Have a Chromebook or thinking about getting one but you don't want to give up Linux? No problem. It might be easier than you think. With a lean desktop based on Zubuntu, check out how you can get Gallium OS and your favorite open source tools running on a Chromebook in no time. Enjoy this week's top five from opensource.com. Keep the false flag high.